Hello guys and welcome to another video. We have this question right here. x squared minus x cubed is equal to 36. And we have to figure out the value of x that will satisfy the equation. I'm pretty sure those of you who like us in check method, this question is nothing to you because we can easily get the answer. Straight away, if you guess that x is equal to negative 3, you are almost there. But the question is, is x equal to 3 the only real solution to the problem? unless we find out. So we are going to find out, indeed, we know that this is a solution, but we are going to check to see whether we get no other real solution. And besides, the question didn't state whether x is real or not, so we have to come out with all the solutions. Before we start, you know the deal already, feel free to pause the video and give it a try first. And if you are done, we can just start with the solution. In fact, this is a cubic equation. We would like to equate everything to zero. So we have x to the second power minus x to the third power minus 36 is equal to 0. Like I said earlier, this is a cubic equation. And those of you who like to use the cubic formula for this, you can go ahead and then do that. But there's more easier approach than using the cubic formula. Check this out. These two terms right here is going to help us solve this so simply because you can rewrite this negative 36 in such a way that you get something to the second power minus something to the third power. Check this out. We have x to the second power minus x to the third power. Then negative 36 is the same as negative 9 minus 27. And this is equal to 0. Cool, huh? Now I'm going to group my terms this way. We have x to the second power. Then I'll write this negative 9 first. So, which is negative, in fact, negative 9 is the same as 3 to the second power. Then I'll bring this right here, minus x to the third power. Then minus, this is also the same as 3 to the third power. And this is equal to 0, just like that. Now, this right here, I put this in parentheses just like this. We have difference of two squares right here, which is the same as x plus 3 times x minus 3. And from these remaining two terms, you can just factor out negative 1. And if we do that, in fact, we are going to have minus x to the third power and plus 3 to the third power. And this is equal to 0. Just like that. Cool. Huh? I'll still copy this down because we have nothing to do with it at the moment. We have x plus 3 times x minus 3, just like that. Then minus this right here. And check this out. This is x to the third power plus 3 to the third power, which in algebraic identities, we can rewrite this as x plus 3, then x to the second power plus 3 to the second power, which is 9, then minus 3 times x, just like that. And this is equal to 0. Pretty nice, huh? We just expanded this using the algebraic identity, that is a cube plus b cube. This is what we're going to end up getting. So we can clearly see that this right here is the exact same as this right here. So we can just factor it out. And if we do that, we have x plus 3. Then right from here, you'll be left with this here. That is x minus 3. Then from here, we'll be left with this one here. But remember, we have this negative sign. And we have to distribute this across. And if we do that, in fact, we're going to have minus x to the second power minus 9 plus 3x. And this is equal to 0, just like that. Now, inside this parenthesis, we can just simplify it further. So I'll keep this factor. That is x plus 3, then times this is going to be minus x to the second power, then plus 4x, then minus 12, and this is equal to 0. Check this out. Product of two factors is equal to 0. We can actually form two equations out of this. I'm going to get rid of this quickly, then get this place right here. The first equation is actually going to be the first factor, which is x plus 3 is equal to 0, and we know that x will be equal to minus 3. We know this solution earlier by using the guessing check method, of course, that is 1. Then from the second equation, let me use the red marker, 
minus x to the second power plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Check this out. The leading coefficient of x squared is negative 1. Let's multiply 2 by negative 1 to get rid of that negative. And if we do that, we have x squared minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Is there any real solution in this quadratic equation unless we verify using the discriminant formula? But before then, let's compare this one to the general quadratic equation. That is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And the discriminant formula is given by delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And of course, let me get rid of this quickly. Of course, we are going to end up getting b is negative 4 right here, which is just like this, negative 4 squared. Then minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 12. In fact, we have 16 minus 48, which is negative 32. Delta is negative 32, which is less than 0. And the fact that delta is less than 0 means that this equation right here do not have real solution. So at this point, we can actually draw a conclusion that the only real solution to the problem is this right here, x is equal to negative 3. But because the question didn't state that x is a real solution or a real value, we have to go ahead and then find the complex solutions as well. And the quadratic formula is given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, which happens to be delta right here, then all divided by 2a. Now we can go ahead and then find this. We have minus b is minus 4, then plus or minus square root of the whole of this is given as negative 32 right here. So we have minus 32 all divided by 2. Cool. So we have x is equal to positive 4, then plus or minus, now square root of negative 32 is the same as i square root of 32. It's like that, then all divided by 2. And check this out. Square root of 32, let me write it, square root of 32 is the same as square root of 16 times square root of 2. And this will give us 4 square root of 2. So in place of this whole term, we're going to put that. So we have 4 plus or minus i. Then this will be 4 square root of 2 divided by 2. In fact, we can get x is equal to, let me hit space right here. If we're going to get x is equal to, we can factor out 2. Then the inside will be 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 2, just like that, all divided by 2. And clearly we see that this and this will go. And ladies and gentlemen, the complex solution to the problem is actually going to be x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 2 this like that so we are almost done i hope you found the video useful don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more and see you again on the next video wait don't forget to check out this video or this one bye bye